Where's your glasses? Gone. Uh, probably still over there. Where am I back? All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, we're just going down here to do some work at my uh, at, at the store facility down here. Uh, they've been trying to get me to come down here for a while with a skid steer, and uh, just gonna drill some holes with the auger. So, storage facility. What are you thinking about when somebody's talking to you? You ought to be thinking about what they're saying instead of thinking about La La Land. You know, the only thing I'm thinking about is going is working and making money with the Bobcat uh, and keep doing this job. He did, he, he said he told me last uh, day before yesterday he that that I, I could bring somebody if I wanted to, but I didn't have to. You know, so he, he said that he would that he that he could do uh, you know all the stuff on the ground, make the concrete or whatever. What the hell they got going on down here? Shit, there's somebody behind me. You see that, man? I hadn't really been looking forward to doing this job, to be honest. But I damn sure I'm not going to want my trailer in, in there. There's no place in there for nothing, dude. I mean... I almost just want to drop the machine and take the trailer home. I'm waiting on the owner to get here. I've been waiting about 15 minutes. Um, it ain't a good spot to be in, you know. Uh, I don't like. I don't like to have to wait, man. Uh, he ain't texting me or called me or nothing. Uh, I talked to him last night, and he said nine o'clock. I got here at 10 minutes to nine. Unloaded the machine, got hydraulic fluid in it, ready to go. And it's 9:15 now. He ain't here yet, so <clears throat> you know. If you're me, man, you don't like this kind of thing because I know how how, how uh, valuable my time is or can be, and uh, I know his time is valuable too. And if something came up, if he could just call me and tell me, then I could, you know, uh, I might be able to go take care of something real quick while I'm waiting on him. You know, if it's going to be ten o'clock, then okay, then I can go down here and get fuel and uh, and you know just take care of a few little things but that's not the case it's uh it's 9 15 i'm ready to rock and roll uh so i'm hoping that the ground is not too hard uh but i don't even know where he wants to dig the holes at so but see when you when you're me and you're having a weight like this it is not, it leaves a terrible taste in my mouth. I don't like having a weight on, uh, you know. Y'all see, this is, this is, this is it. I mean, this is just, it probably ain't the best thing with this bit. You know, I know it ain't, but I'll buy a new tip store if I have to. I haven't used the auger in a while, 
I've only used it like two or three times since I got it. Put it on high flow up here. Watch it. Buddy, you really don't have to have it on high flow. So if you're going this, if you're spinning that fast, and you hit something or grab something, it's going to grab it right out of there. So let's throw it down. Y'all know, I know this thing ain't made to dig this hard ground. Let just let it do what it do, man. I'm take my time. But you don't really have to have a hardcore chip on here to dig a hole in the ground. You're digging deep, you're digging deep enough. Don't dig no deeper, okay? Just clean it out, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to move out of the way here. Alright y'all. I see no working right here. Alright. That'll work. That'll work. Alright. Let me see if I can get it. There's something definitely in this hole. I'm not able to go as deep. So I won't. about right there you start hitting something. Stick to this game right here. Don't tear nothing up. Don't blow no line. Don't break no bit. So I'm not gonna want to go no deeper than that on this one. Whatever I'm hitting is solid. It ain't I'm gonna get that deep on that one. What is that? Yeah. Y'all see, man. Y'all see. Now I'm on low flow because high flow, man, it, 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 it spins it way too fast. I'm afraid I'm getting hung up on something and break something. Okay. Right? Taking time, so steady. I know this bit ain't supposed to be doing it, going through this asphalt. I know we're taking it. I'll buy some more tips for the end of it. But most of the every time everything that I dig through is dirt, man. It's gonna dig through dirt on that. It's about the sheer weight of a freaking machine. You know? You gotta be careful right here with the, with, the, with the building and all. You put too much weight down, the machine wants to do this and that, you know, and that and this, you know. So, what I do is I kind of caddy corner it a little bit that way, like this way, to get it to grab that that side of the hole, where and then and then come to the other side of the hole and do the same thing, caddy corner it that way, just a little bit where it'll dig where those teeth down there at the bottom aren't digging everything at one time. Then it can grab when you go straight down. So you even back up a little bit and get that. Now you're only hitting like one side. And then straighten it back up and you're hitting both sides. All right, y'all. So uh, I got this job done. Uh, I don't really know... How to charge i'm not gonna charge by the hour i'm gonna charge per hole i'm thinking like forty dollars a hole i think that's what i charged last time uh so what would that be mm. it was 12 40. uh uh if i do forty dollars a hole that's 600 bucks mm, it's not that great you know but I'm not losing. I ain't earning like I should. 
uh, I really need to do something else today uh, so I can get it, you know, because I'm going to have, you know, over a hundred bucks in, in, uh, well, about a hundred and fifty dollars in, uh, in expenses. So, you know, that's something to think about too. I'm going to, uh, can't decide. Probably gonna get a, uh, just order a large pizza for lunch. Cause see, Christian just got here, so he can wrap up what he needs to do. Well, I don't even have to be here for that. Uh, and uh, Bo uh, can go with me, and I can take Bo and drop him off wherever, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, y'all. But, uh, I mean, this job is what it is, you know. It's 15 holes dug and, you know, uh, through asphalt. Uh, I, wish, I wish we had about 10 more to do, but I believe that's all of them. Uh, you know, uh, but see, I got two guys out here, too, and... Uh, I'm not, he ain't really paying enough for all that, you know. Um, I told Christian, you know, Christian just lives right up the street here. He wasn't even going to work today. I told him, I said, come over and help help for a couple of hours. I'll give you $60, man. You know, uh, just trying to, you know, keep, uh, keep the money flowing. Uh, but we're going to end up leaving Christian here because I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait on Christian to get done. Uh, and the thing about it is, the 600 is really just to dig the holes we 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 going through there cleaning them out and uh and also cutting the asphalt with a grinder see uh we need to be at a little bit more than, than uh 600 dollars the machine should get the 600 dollars and then whatever labor on top of that is what the labor is on top of that i'll figure it all out though and i'll let y'all know all right y'all peace out yeah, and there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot to be said for getting your check right now. So he just wrote me a check too. So uh, I mean, you get done ten minutes later, you got your check. Uh, so six hundred bucks, man. You know, two hours of work. You know, that's all right. Uh, I was gonna get pizza, but I don't have to now. I thought we'd be here longer, uh, uh, but me, I'm going to take Bo and get him off the clock. Uh, so, but you know, this is what you have to do in the winter time, man. Uh, we're, we're and we're we're damn near in a drought right now. <laughs> I mean, as far as rain goes, you're going to dump that, buddy, and then, uh, yeah. So we're gonna see what Christian, how Christian's doing on these cuts because uh, they want to. He wants to cut it in, uh, cut them square. Uh, uh, basically, what you see right here on this bollard right here, that's basically what he's doing on on the other side. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Uh, so. All right. How many more you got? That's all the batteries you got? How many, how many can you do with one battery? Ooh. But he's got a charger over there, right? 
Because these are all plug-in, like slide-in. And those are slide-in. We have the attached there. I don't know what it is. So the owner, so the owner over here, he, he, he wants to keep Christian here uh, to work. So I'm just going to let him work out a deal with Christian. Uh, I don't really know, but I'm thinking $20 an hour, you know, is what, is what he needs to be paying Christian. Uh, I mean, and we're only talking about a, a few hours. We're not talking about, you know, a full-time job or nothing. We're just talking about wrap that up, mix a little concrete. And Christian's worth twenty dollars an hour. If you, to me, he is. If you're putting them in the scenario to win, but a lot of times, you know, people that are hiring guys like me, they're not, you know, and they're not thinking in turn like I'm thinking, and that's okay, you know, uh, because I can pay Christian twenty dollars an hour and I can make money like that. See. To pay somebody twenty dollars an hour, and if you're working side by side with them, or 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 in control of the things that they need to do the job, then you got to put them in a scenario to where everything is readily available, so you can get the most out of the twenty dollars an hour. So, but with all that being said, the thing is, if you. Uh, I work for, for like I said, like the owner and uh, and the twenty dollars an hour or whatever. Then you know he, the owner's going to have to make sure that he's got everything to to justify that. See, if if Christian's got to stand around and wait on the owner to have batteries for his, the grinder, uh, and and that kind of thing, well, that's a problem, you know. Uh, because you're paying twenty dollars an hour and the man's just standing there. See? So uh okay. it, did you rent the drill or is it No, your... I own it. Oh, okay. I bought it, man. It's my shit. Oh, okay. I've had that drill for over a year, dude. You ain't never seen it? I spend my money on equipment, dog, to where I can make uh six or seven hundred dollars in a couple of hours. That's you know, that's what I do, man. I'm all, I mean, I would, I would have made that money either way. I, I mean, having you come out here, I, I, I mean, I, he ain't even paying me to clean the holes out. I'm charging him just to drill the holes. That's it, you know. But I knew that if you were out here, we could get a little bit more done and, you know, but at the end of the day, I could have came out here without anybody and just drilled the holes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And got the $600. You know, then he, then he had to hire somebody else to come in there and clean them up, you know? Because that ain't, that, I don't, I don't, that ain't my job. I mean, that ain't what we agreed on. I charge him $40 a hole. Huh. So, to drill them. And it's worth that. You know how long it would take you to go to, to, make, to, to make holes like that with, with, a, with, a, with a mallet? How long, Bo? Oh man, Dude, I don't think you could have done it. You know, you gotta have a machine over there, and whenever you start, whenever you got machines like that, you can charge what you want to charge. You know, the Bobcats twenty five thousand, the damn the Augers uh, twenty two hundred. You know, I thought you knew I had an Auger. I didn't know you had one that big. Yeah, I mean, I got one for the. I got an. I got. I buy attachments to make money with it. I, I drilled holes over here last year with it. I, I mean, I, he paid me like $2,500 and I bought the auger with that money. That's what I bought, that's what I paid, that's what I bought the auger with. Hey! So look, well, I mean, if you don't give me some money, I'll get something to eat and I'll work. If you want me to work, I mean, we're sitting there talking about how I ain't ate, but then again, I ain't getting nothing to eat, so. Yeah. I'll work right now.
Yeah, I mean, is he gonna do it? Huh? Is he gonna do it? Do what? Work. Yeah. Uh, Why? Well, because I was gonna say, if, if it were me working, I, I could have done been getting something. Like, you know, then go over there and work, because I would have done it too. Yeah, but you, but, but see, you, you, you don't have, you, you don't have a way to get out of here. See? You know? Oh. Where else am I gonna go? He I'm asked me if Christian could stay. Okay. So, I was just offering just in case, you know. You know. You ain't gonna, I mean, you gonna, you gonna stay for four or five more hours and not eat nothing? I would like to eat something. I know, so where are you gonna eat at? That's what I'm saying. How much money you got? I don't have any money to uh -huh. eat. But you don't. I have a um, food card that's going through. Yeah, no, you don't have a food card. Quit saying that, I'm too. just saying I have access. It's mine. Okay, you got access? Where's it at? Uh, you don't, don't have it. it. You don't. The dude moved. All right, well, I mean, why does a dude have your food card? I don't know. Because his wife used it. I mean, why? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it's a whole lot of trouble. I mean, you gave your food card to somebody that lives 30 miles away, and then you spent all your money you made yesterday to go retrieve it, only to find out that they moved. <laughs> I mean, I, was, I you, you hear that? I mean, did I, did I just say that right? Yeah, he was going that way anyway to go uptown and all that shit. Oh. You had to pay him, didn't you? About. How much you had to pay him? Shit, I gave Zach about $28 out of that $30 I had yesterday just to get up there and get my food card. You didn't get it, though. And didn't get it. So, any money that you might have made on the food card, you just gave it away. I don't think Zach was going up that way. Why would he charge you $28? Because he was going up that way. So, he's going to charge you $28? I mean... It... That's what he asked me when I called him. He was like, Bo, he's like, I need to borrow something or just that and the other. I wouldn't borrow nothing. You know, you had to get up, up there or whatever. I borrow nothing. If you'd have, like, like had your food card and had to give your twenty-eight dollars away to for nothing, you could use that twenty-eight dollars. See, you spend more money on on shit that that. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't imagine spending my only twenty-eight dollars only to get to, to get a food card that ain't, that ain't even there. That shit's crazy, dude. I don't even. I mean, dude. sense to me Bo. But you got a flannel. Yeah I got a flannel. That's right. I got a good flannel. I don't understand it. I was going after the Three babies. You think I damn? You think I do them holes for two hundred dollars? 
I don't take my bobcat nowhere. For I this. didn't realize it was that much to have a uh, hose drill, uh, drilled like that. No, it ain't about the holes. It's about bringing a machine to a job. I'm, I'm about going, I don't charge less than five hundred dollars to bring a machine to the job. Yeah. If, I, if you see the bobcat on the trailer, I'm making at least five hundred dollars. But there's a lot of shit to pay for. The, the bobcat's got to go in the shop. You see the hydraulic leak? Yeah. That's probably gonna be a thousand dollars right there. Yeah, dang, man. You know what I'm saying? That's too much. They will charge you a thousand dollars to fix that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it can, it can be. Yeah. They got to take the track off. Uh, they got to buy the part. They got to stop take the old part off. Everything's expensive, dude. You're gonna be around, around tomorrow, so. Yeah, well. Now, the only way you'll be around is if if I owe you money. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm trying. I know you're gonna try. I just mm -hmm. have to take care of that. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Take care of what? I don't know. I know you don't. I've, take, I've bought. You don't socks. take care of nothing, Bo. Listen, you said we've got it. socks from Dollar General. I've got socks from Publix. Socks? And, yeah. Oh yeah. And nothing's working. Huh? And I don't know. I don't you know, don't what, know to say. what. I don't know what to. to socks. I, I mean. I don't know, man. Yeah, you know, you know, I mean, the, the mission gives you socks all the time. Every every time. I mean, every week they give you socks. You'll be broke in the morning. You'll be calling me about 11 o'clock talking about I need work. I'm hungry. And I'll no. be telling you, no, I ain't working at 11 o'clock. I've been there and got I started. Could go, I could go there. I, could, I don't know what I, I don't know, what to, I don't know dude. Okay. I got a place to stay, man. I, I pay a lot of money to stay there, too. You don't pay nothing to stay nowhere. You take all your money and boop it up. Gone. And then you're working for folks that don't pay you. <laughs> I mean, I, pay I got a $100 bill right there in that corner. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. A dude take, and, his, and his little girl. All right. Crazy, huh? I just pulled up on my bike just before I got to the store. Said, yeah, I bet they didn't know that you, guys, about I bet that they didn't right know what you was going to spend it on. It was old and lanky. It was his oldest one. I bet they didn't know what you was going to spend it on. Did I, I paid um I paid a bill with it a couple of days later. What bill? Thirty something dollars. I saved. I had thirty or forty dollars of it a couple of days later. So what bill did you pay? Uh, you don't have no bills. What bills do you have? You can't something. keep your phone on, dude. It was something. I forget what it was. You just hear yourself, man. I forget what it was. Look, big with beautiful lines and landscaping. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh God. He's done cutting grass, man. Cutting grass is, is, there ain't no money in that right now. Okay, y'all. That's a wrap on the day. Uh, as far as work, you know, in the field work. Uh, I got some stuff around the house I need to do. Uh, I did get my mailbox uh, installed. You know, I got the, the wood. On the, I got the hole and the post in the ground. Uh, I'm going to put the box on there today. And that'll be one other thing I got done. Uh... I would like to devise a way, and I might do it when I get done eating, uh, to hang this auger up to where it's not laying on the ground. Uh, I mean, there's a way, uh, if, there, if there is a way, I know there is, where I could just, you know, Hang it up on the side of the shipping container would be really sweet, man. Right up off the ground, just high enough to where the auger the bit don't hit the ground, and just suspend it in the air like that. Then I can just go up to it and, you, and get it whenever I need it. His hands dirty, y'all. For sure. Oh yeah, y'all know what it is. I'm pulling up to the house, and it's Sammy time Tuesday, y'all. See you.